It's a fact that all wild elephants have an uncanny ability to show up at the right place at the right time, through mountains, across savannas, and over long distances. For years, scientists wondered how they communicate, and perhaps it is through their feet. Biologist Dr. Caitlin O'Connell Rodwell is creating earthquakes for elephants at the Oakland Zoo and shaking up perceptions of how the animals communicate. When I first suggested this idea, it went against a lot of people's conceptions about how animals communicate. While in Africa, Caitlin noticed that whenever an elephant in the wild perked up its ears, it would also lift a foot off the ground. There's something strange going on here. They're, they're really leaning and using their feet in a way that seems like they're detecting something with their feet. The goal of our experiment is to see if elephants can sense vibrations in the ground. Here, behind the zoo's elephant paddock, Caitlin and her team are burying seismic shakers and rigging a system of speakers and microphones. The subject of this experiment is Dana, an African elephant. Elephants can produce low-frequency vocalizations called rumbles, which are barely audible to the human ear. When an elephant rumbles, the sound generates seismic waves that travel through the ground. Those ground waves ripple across the surface like a stone tossed in water, remaining detectable much farther away than audible communication. But just how far? This is the first time that we really studied this in depth in a large mammal. We know now that elephant rumbles, it's their long distance call that they make to other elephants. What we want to know is if they can detect those rumbles in the ground. Start. Donna will be tested Start. on her response to seismic activity. The random signal sent out will either be positive, indicating a seismic rumble, or negative, meaning nothing at all is played. She has her feet planted on the ground for the negative ones, and she lifts a foot for the positive one, and she gets a reward. So this is another trial with no playback, so she should not lift her foot. Excellent. And 10 seconds later, she does not. Donna does lift her paw, and then is congratulated. Good girl, Donna. Good girl. General Curator Colleen Kinsley is there to give Donna treats when she responds correctly. Of course, the study depends on Donna's willingness to participate. That's the beauty of it is she gets to choose, you know, do I want to do this now or do I don't want to do this now? The soft skin of an elephant's foot acts much like a drumhead, sensing vibrations. Caitlin believes the seismic waves are felt in the toenails and move up to the ear via bone conduction. And since underground signals travel farther than airborne ones, Caitlin suggests elephants will stomp their feet rather than vocalize a rumble to send an urgent message or a warning that must reach for miles. Caitlin is proving that for elephants, they don't need a long distance calling plan if they can just stomp. <laughs>